Good morning, happy Sunday. It's another early start. It's 25 to 7. Um, so Andrew's just gone off to work. Um, so he has to wake me up because obviously we've got this one to look after. Where is he? Hey, look. He's having a cuddle. He's having a cuddle on my knee. Oh, yeah. Um, but it's raining, so it's not very nice. Um, excuse my appearance, I need to get a shower. But um, I'm going to take, take Charlie for his morning walk in the rain. Have some breakfast and then have a shower. I'm more or less ready to set straight off to my mum's. Um, we'll probably be setting off about half ten, quarter to eleven. So that's another reason I need to get up, you know, pretty, you know, don't need to, I don't want to be staying in bed forever when I've got to have a shower and eat my breakfast and pack the car up and time soon passes, doesn't it? So I shall go and face the rain and take out Al Alfie. I think somebody should start a swear box up for every time I, ta I call Charlie Alfie. He doesn't seem to mind too much. Yeah. I think it's going to take a bit of time to get up and get going, but there we go. Andrew's, uh, Andrew will be at work by seven o'clock and he'll, he'll work till half two and then he'll get five minutes to himself until we get home. Well, it's now ten past seven and we've had a quick walk in the rain. It's not pouring it down, but it's raining. And it's now time for breakfast. So I've got my usual coffee. Somebody asked what coffee I'm drinking. And at the moment it's Beanie's Cinder Toffee, which I think this is the one that my friend Angie sent to me very kindly. So it's Beanie's Cinder Toffee. Then I've got my um, carrot cake baked oats, but I don't have the dried fruit in them today. And I've got one saved over there for my evening snack. So that's 40 grams of oats for my Healthy Extra B uh, and some other ingredients mixed in and made into a cake. Then I've got some strawberries and blueberries and a smooth toffee yogurt. So that is my Sunday breakfast. Oh, good morning. I come to you looking slightly cleaner and tidied up. It's now quarter past nine and I've been in the shower and I'm dressed. I've got my top on from Matalon again and this time I've got jeans on um, and I'm just going to quickly go through my weighing results from Thursday. Um, so last week I followed the extra easy plan because I had had a gain at my previous weigh-in of I had gained two and a half pounds so I decided to return to the extra easy plan to get some of that off. So um, I filled in my Slim for Life diary, I didn't fill it in on Thursday, which was way day, but I filled in the rest of the days. Every day I had one healthy extra B and one healthy extra A, although sometimes it was split between cheese and almond milk, and I had between 11 and 16 sins. Um, so one day I did go slightly over, but other days I was under 15, so I made it up. And I did plenty of walking and two uh, gym classes. So that was my week. I continued to drink my water um, and just tried to stay on it. So when I went to group on Thursday, at the 5.30 group, I had lost three and a half pounds. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. So I now weigh 11 stone, five and a half. And my total weight loss is back up in the 15s. And I have lost 15 stone, two pounds. So yeah, that's me back on it. And I'm, go I'm going to remain on extra easy plan. Apart from Fridays, um, I'm going to have two healthy extra Bs on a Friday uh, when I fancy a wholemeal roll with my burger um, and as I was explaining yesterday uh, with my healthy extra A 
There may be some days when I go slightly over. Um, I have, uh, say, 30 grams of cheese and 300 ml of almond milk, which will usually be the Alpro. So that, I can't do the exact maths, but that may be slightly over your Healthy Extra A allowance. But as long as I'm not gaining big, then I'm happy to continue that. And I think a bit of almond milk never did anybody any harm. But if you're wanting to lose weight and stick to the plan 100%, then as I said last night, you need to be weighing and measuring. And if you're splitting your healthy extra A, you want it to be accurate. And it's probably best to do it half and half, but that's just my experience. So yeah, really, really pleased with that and it spurred me on. Um, you know, I just want to fit nicely in my clothes. I don't want to risk gaining because even though I remained in my target range the whole time, um, gaining three weeks in a row isn't an ideal scenario. So I'm really, really pleased with that loss. I uh, had a really great day yesterday. I'm not sure if I said, um, but Charlie did not have any accidents yesterday uh, at Andrew's mum and dad's. He actually asked to go out in the garden a couple of times. So that was real progress as he had about three accidents last time we were there. So yeah, we're getting on well with that and he's also uh, doing better in the house as well. All poos have been outside for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, we are still occasionally having wee accidents, but they're getting rarer and he is asking himself more to go outside. If you can hear that, that's him chewing a plastic bottle. So yeah, really pleased on both fronts. I'm really pleased with my exercise, my MoFit Tracker and my Strava app with the work challenge to cover the distance between the uh, offices um, is, is really inspiring me to get out walking um, and no doubt we'll, me and my mum will do a nice walk around the park this afternoon even if it's raining, the weather's not great here today um, and get a, bit, a few more steps in um, but yeah, um, I probably have got time to do the more fit review at the moment but I want to do it really properly, I want to show you the app on my phone screen and everything like that. So I think I might wait until I've got a bit more time and it's not going to make me run late. But do keep an eye on the channel for a review of my, the More Fit Fitness Tracker. I also got sent some um, tasting chicken fillets. So I've started filming the review on that, so there's lots more to come. Um, uh, I'm in the same situation, with food diaries, I'm sort of in the same situation as Kate Jane. When you're a Target member and you're having, some days maybe you're having a, an extra healthy B or a bit more milk or something like that, I don't want to confuse anybody. Um, so let me know whether you'd like to see food diaries. Um, but I'll certainly be daily vlogging and I will try and explain when I can uh, if I believe I'm having something extra to the plan as a Target member. So that's my update for this week, three and a half pounds off, really really pleased with that. Um, I'm on track this week, I haven't been writing down um, but I was on 13 sins yesterday and so far today I've had my um, healthy extra B with my oats and a sin free breakfast. My lunch will be chicken roast dinner, probably a few sins for gravy and my tea will be my rice bowl which is sin free so I'll have a few sins um, waiting for me uh, in the evening. So now it's 20 past nine I'm going to probably watch the end of casual tea then start packing up and getting ready to go. It'll take me about an hour to drive to my mum's um, and I'm going to pick her up from church so whether I'll get any footage of him meeting the people at church I'm not sure uh, it might be too much like chaos but if I can I will do otherwise I'll show you my lunch and what we get up to this afternoon I hope you're all managing to have a nice weekend especially or despite get maybe getting a bit of rain today and hopefully the sun will come back this week Right, so it's 20 to 10, 
20 to 11, sorry, and uh, we're just getting ready to leave. Charlie's in his cage or crate in the back of the car. As I say, it's about an hour's drive, so we're going to listen to some radio, enjoy the drive, and we will see you in Sheffield. Well, we've arrived safely at Mum's and the preparation for um, lunch is on. We've also been to church and seen all the people there, haven't we? Yes, we have. You've got all your toys, but I've forgotten your bed and your food bowls. So we weren't as organised as we thought. I'm just starting to, I've just set the table, I've got my pudding ready, so we're having chicken. Mum's just said that she picked this, these up, where did you get them from? Just outside the house in the country. Outside a house in the country, it's some kind of yellow vegetable, so if anybody knows what it is, it's got red peelings on the outside and it's shaped like an onion, but it smells like cabbage. So she's going to uh, boil them and see how they turn out and everything else is boiling away nicely. So despite just putting my um, shoes and coat on in time, goodbye. Oh sorry, that's going to be on camera. We did miss a wee though, he did, uh, did just do a wee in Mum's lounge so we've cleaned that up. At least he knows where the garden is now. And as you can see, he's done the other part of his business in the garden. Good boy, Charlie. And this is my mum's garden. It's nice. She doesn't want to be on camera. You're doing well, mum. It's nice, lots of nice colours. Better go and pick that, that up, haven't we? That business. So hopefully next time he'll come to the door now he knows where the garden is. Oh, you found the steps as well. Careful. Let me shut that door. Come here, Charlie. Good boy. So back. here's our Sunday dinner. We've got a chicken breast that's been cooked in foil in the oven and it's got a Schwartz chicken um, garlic and herb season on it which is free. Uh, then I've got some mashed potatoes which have been done with egg so they are free. Uh, lovely in mashed potato if you just add an uncooked egg and it cooks it when while you mash the potatoes. We've got broccoli and carrots and we've got some Morrison's chicken gravy granules which is one and a half sins and then I've got some strawberries raspberries and blueberries with the banana and custard muller yogurt and a summer fruits barley no added sugar juice so one and a half sins just for my gravy well this is the vegetable boiled up and we've done some googling and discovered it's a it's golden beetroot and my mum says it's very nice boiled and it's very sweet so she's going to enjoy eating that over the next couple of days golden beetroot free just left outside someone's house well we have come to the park with young charlie mum's local park it looks like there's been the fair here and he's walking very well come on this way And it's dry at the moment, so we're lucky. Come on, Charlie. So I think we've just picked the right time. It's about half past two. Yeah, we're here in the local park. There's a few dog walkers around. And we've got a dry walk. So I'll show you when we get to the pond. He's friendly, he's just very bouncy. <laughs> yeah, so is mine. 
Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> well, here we are at the duck pond. We've got to keep a tight hold on this one. Get out of there. He's sniffing at the me duck mess. Of course, he has seen the sea, but he's not seen anything like this before. Nice day now. Well, we've seen lots of doggies, haven't we? We've seen lots of doggies. This way. Say bye bye to the ducks. Yes, another dog. Oh, it's like Safi, isn't it? Is it a border puffer? Yeah. My friend wants one. Where did you get him from? Uh, a breeder in Leeds. In Leeds. Oh, good I can boy. Smell it if you don't like it, love. She's a bit funny with puppies because she's an old woman now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The library up there in the park. Come on, this way. The mum's just trying to take a photo of me and I'm vlogging. He's doing really well. But he's 20 minutes and nearly up, so I've got the sling and we'll walk around again, but I'll carry him round. So we're just back from our walk. Sorry about the light, but you know how it is in older people's houses. It's always dark. Only joking. Anyway, so we're back from our walk. We've been out about an hour and Charlie was carried for some of the way. I'm just trying to work my... And I have done 11,000 steps today, so that is good. Um, so I'm just having... It's quarter to four, so I'm just having a hot summer fruits squash with a pear and that's my water for today because I also forgot my hydrate mate so no matter how organised I am I've forgotten quite a few things today and this one's just settled down just now so it's now about five o'clock we're just relaxing chilling out uh, Mum will be going to evening church soon, so I'll take her down there and then I'll get off home. But before that, I'm having my evening meal, which is my rice bowl. So it's the Aldi uh, Everyday Essentials Golden Vegetable Rice, half a pack, which is free on the plan. It's some of the Morrison's Lemon, Garlic and Herb Chicken. And then it's um, plum tomatoes and orange pepper for speed. So all that is free on the plan. Then I've got some strawberries and blueberries and a Morrison's No Added Sugar Diet Lemonade. This one's been having fun stealing shoes all day, but it's not done too bad. It's not done too bad. Uh, we've only had one accident so far um, and he, he's done a wee in the garden now. So hopefully he'll make that association. It's now eight o'clock and I'm back at home, safe and sound, we all are. Andrew's back from work and he's had a lovely quiet afternoon. I'm in my pyjamas, ready to watch a bit of telly and relax for the final hour or two before going to bed and starting work again tomorrow. So I'll just show you my evening snacks. So I'm having my usual coffee with almond milk. I've only had 300ml of almond milk today, I haven't had any cheese. So really, I haven't had an A choice, but I'm okay with that today. Um, and then I'm having a nectarine, a packet of salt and vinegar squares for five cents. I've got the last carrot cake muffin from my breakfast this morning. And then this bar of, so this bar of green and black milk chocolate is 35 grams. And the whole thing is 10 cents. 
So I'm going to have half of it for five sins. And I'd already had the gravy today, which was one and a half sins. So I end the day on eleven and a half sins. Thanks for watching.